Michael, I've been obsessed, as, uh, as you've gotten to know me, perhaps you can recognize, with uh, the uh, deep questions of reality, uh, both as it affects uh, the world and affects me personally. And I find you fascinating because you are an atheist, as per your claim and, uh, and, and, and sophistication, and yet you, you are willing to, to uh, admit the possibility of some kind of purpose or meaning in, in existence. Now, to many atheists, that's an oxymoron, a contradiction. But to you, it's not. Why? Well, because first, I'm a philosopher. And only secondly, am I an atheist. <laughs> I am a philosopher. I love the history of philosophy. I took a course on Descartes' meditations in my first year at, at university. I had no idea what I was going <laughs> to do. Fifteen minutes later, Am I awake? Am I asleep? I knew I was going to do that for the rest of my life. Mm. And I have done. So for me, all of my questions are dictated by what are the big <clears throat> questions in philosophy? And the, one of the biggest, going back to, to Plato and Aristotle, coming right up through the, <clears throat> the biggest, uh, Augustine, Aquinas, certainly Immanuel Kant, uh, is, does life, is there meaning? Is there purpose? Do we find purpose only in humans? Do organisms show purpose? Does the universe show purpose? And of course, this was the obsession of Plato in the Phaedo and the Timaeus. Uh, Aristotle, as a biologist, kept coming back to it again and again and again and again. And it's been a perennial thing. I mean, I think some of the most interesting work by Immanuel Kant is in the third critique where he takes up these issues. And it, it's been very much an issue today, both by philosophers and by those of us like myself who are interested in working on the science-religion relationship, because obviously purpose, why are we here, what should we do, uh, is St. Paul right that it's all a question of, of justification by faith, or is the, are the, uh, the sort of the more radical Protestants right who want to say no, it's the Beatitudes which are overwhelming. Mm. So these questions of purpose are certainly have always been part of religion, but let us not forget they are so fundamental to philosophy. It's not mm. the only problem philosophers work on, sure. but it's one of the most fundamental. So that somebody like myself, who thinks of himself as first a philosopher, for absolutely, to be interested in, in purpose is, is a natural. <laughs> is, uh, is it possible to have purpose if there is nothing other than the physical world as pretty much we know it today? Well, you can't have purpose in the ontological sense, to use a term that you're fond of. <laughs> in other words, if that's, if what you see is what you get, then clearly there's no ultimate purpose, a divine being who plotted, planned it all and is waiting for us to cross over and we can be in happy harmony. That's out. So where do you go from there? Clearly, at some level, one can talk about purpose, mm. let us say, at, at the organic level. I mean, if I, for instance, find, let's say, a new, uh, well, let's say, take a, a, a dinosaur like the Stegosaurus. It's good, the one with those funny yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, plates yeah, all down yeah. its back, uh, yeah. diamond-shaped plates. Perfectly good biology to say, what's the purpose of these? In a way that you would not say, what is the purpose of sunspots? And so certainly you have answers, questions about purpose, at least at that level. It's with with a small to, p purpose. Yes, <laughs> right, if you like. And, but they're genuine. They're not, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, no, the, the point is they're not yeah. metaphorical. Sure, sure, they're sure, not sure. proto. Right. They're not pseudo quasi. They're right. genuine questions. Right. So clearly at some <clears> level, <throat> you don't have your ultimate big p purpose. You do have <clears throat> your biological small p purpose. Right. Of course, the interesting question is, <clears throat> chain of being thinking, we're down between, between the dinosaurs and God. Yeah. Where do we fit in? Right. So, so let's, let's look at the, the purpose with the big P, because I think you've very well defined the small P purpose that are very genuine questions in terms of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the one of Aristotle's four kinds of, uh, 
the, of causes. The, you know, why did it happen? The final cause. And, and that's very, very legitimate kind of purpose. But in trying to discern the big P, you, you've uh, uh, caricatured the, 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 the basic, the theism approach to the kind of God. But there are many other kinds of, of, uh, of big P purposes that are not that kind of caricature. Um, e Eastern religions have a cosmic consciousness. Um, th there are various kinds of claims of, uh, of, of spiritualism. There, uh, 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 but my, I'm trying to discern all of those need something beyond the physical world as we know it today. It doesn't have to be a god in the sky yeah. with, a, with, with an angel yeah. and, a, and a harp. Uh, but but there are many other kinds of characterizations of of a of a world, but they all seem to have um, the requirement to go beyond the physical. Yes, and I th I think that's true. And if we had a couple of hours, I'd be happy to go by with through them <laughs> line by line and tell you why I don't think the you know transmogrification is that the word of souls <laughs> is is a viable context of all of these things. So, but the point you're absolutely right. They've all got big P purpose. And days when I wonder whether I'm an atheist, whether I really want yeah. to be associated with Richard Dawkins, all I have to do is think about the purpose issue and I realize that I really truly am. Because I want to reject all of those big P purposes, not necessarily yeah. just for one reason, and say, if there is purpose, and I think there is, how can we make sense of purpose for Homo sapiens? For yes, us? Yeah. And, and I, I think from a, a small p purpose, those are possible because there are reasons that you do things. I mean, you can say purpose, what, what, why is my purpose of talking to you? Because I want to learn something, uh, you know, and, and I have, and, and that's my purpose, I've fulfilled it. But, but that, that's a, that's because you made a wise choice, though, Robert. <laughs> you made a wise choice. That's because in English, the word purpose has these different, different uh, meanings. And, and so, but if we're looking mm. to this bigger meaning, some scientists that I know who are atheistic mm. like you try to uh, build a big purpose P yeah. into the physical world to have like a, a quasi-religious substitute. Yeah, I And know. I find that appalling. So do I. Darwin Day... I stay home, you know, <laughs> and close all the windows and say, I want no part of it. They'll be putting him in a manger next. Yeah. I mean, you know, I want to say, you're the real cowards. <laughs> you pretend to have given it up, yeah. but you haven't. You haven't made that existential leap of faith, as it were, into non-being or that, that there right. is no. But I want to say... I've made that, but now where do we go from here? And you've been using these. Purpose is a, is a matter of values. It's like atheism. It's a question of how, what is worthwhile? What should we strive for? What ends? It's not just, you know, give us the facts, ma'am. It's not just Cartesian, raise extensa, it, material okay. substance. That's what makes people so uneasy about purpose. They, it's like a mistress. They can't live without it, <laughs> but they don't want to tell anybody that <laughs> they've made the, you know, they, they've got one. And I think that purpose, small p, big p, whatever you want to call it, is absolutely fundamental. So the gutsy way is to say, yeah, it's, you know, it's like other minds. I, th I believe in other minds. Now, question is, why do I, why is it reasonable to not, there is no, there are no other minds, you're just machines. And I think the same with purpose. I, yeah, of course there's purpose. I, ha I have a very purposeful life, you know, loving my wife, trying to help my students, my, my kids. It's a tremendous sense of purpose, sure. enjoyment in writing books or For reading sure. Dickens. But the question is, how do I get that purpose as an evolutionist when I've rejected Big P purpose. Mm. I think you can. I think you can by focusing, I think in a very Greek way, on what makes not just you happy, mm. but what makes other ha others happy. I think ex-Quaker very much, true happiness comes from helping others. And so I think mm. you can get purpose in a very meaningful way at that mm. level. And frankly, that's all the purpose you need. And how does that happen? 
How, how does that happen? How does evolutionary uh, uh, pressures create that kind of purpose? I mean, I can understand how it can, it can create fingers and, and scales and, and things that are, have a purpose. Oh, come on, Robert. If it, if it turned us all into neurotics like Kierkegaard, oh, my God, <laughs> the world's coming to an end. I've got no purpose. I'm miserable. You know, that sounds like Woody Allen. You know, we'd be like shakers. We'd be out of a business <laughs> in a, you know, immediately. We've got to have happy little people like you trotting around and copulating wildly, you know, otherwise it wouldn't work. And the fact that more sophisticated of us start to be reflective of this and to ask questions about purpose comes from the territory. You know, biology promotes not only purpose, but purpose thinking.